everyone and welcome back to another day in the life vlog. Hello! As you can see, I am Disney-fied this morning, which means we are about to film a Disney video. Yeah, we're going to record the second reacting to Walt Disney World uh, video. Uh, you seem to enjoy the first one, so thanks so much for watching that. And today we're going to look back on Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Studios. We haven't actually fully decided what one, but we think we're going to do when you met Woody and Buzz. Yeah, I thought we had to say. Oh, okay. We had. <laughs> or, or at least I'm, I'm pushing that to the forefront. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've just set up the equipment, ready to film. I think I'm going to need a cup of tea though as well. I'm very tired today. Yeah, you can I've had a very busy but amazing week rehearsing the show and finished rehearsals now. The park is going to open next week, um, but we can't open the show until May. Yeah. Um, but we did our rehearsals before the park opened, just so that when it hits May, and fingers crossed all the restrictions lift that allow us to put on an out, um, outdoor show, then it means that we'll have everything, and then we can just go and open it. But I'm so excited. <laughs> but the Lego Friends will be doing meet and greets up until May when the show, fingers crossed, will open. But yeah, it's been a really good week, but I am so tired. <laughs> so I feel like it's gonna be a very relaxing weekend. Yeah, we've uh, got a few bits and bobs to do, but we, oh, 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 there's, there's an update on my wrestling t-shirts. Oh, yeah. So I contacted the website that I got them from, so WWE uh, Euro Shop, and they, they just said that they were gonna send out some replacements for me. So they're actually arriving today, but they've sent them by courier this time to make sure that they actually definitely get to me. They definitely arrive in your hands and we're literally going to be in until they... Because we weren't going to go come. for a walk, but we're like, we're not going to risk it <laughs> until you have them in your hand. Yeah. We're not going to go for a walk. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully I'll have those today and I can show you uh, which ones I got. And it's so good because they arrive the day of the first night of WrestleMania. So you've... No, I've got a relaxing weekend and you've actually got a very busy weekend. <laughs> I've got a long weekend because uh, I'm not entirely sure what time the, the kickoff show starts before the actual event. But the actual event I think starts at one o'clock in the morning. I need to double check it. Um, and then it'll probably go on till about three or four. Saturday and <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah, but then I'm at work on Monday. So I've just got to face facts. I'm going to be tired on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I go make us a cup of tea before we film? So I've gone for Tigger Mug and well that's Martin's and then this is actually my new favourite mug. I really love it. Um, we got it recently from Shop Disney and it's the little up mug. I just think it's a really lovely size and I just love the design. I think it's so cute. So we've got our teas. I was just saying that I always have my coffee out of that one. It's a really nice <laughs> size. I really really love it. I think it's really cute. Um, but before we start filming our reacting video, we wanted to share with you something very exciting. We were very kindly gifted some new headphones from Studio, and if you've watched some of our previous vlogs and also on my Instagram, uh, we own a Studio speaker and also another pair of Studio headphones. Yeah. So we were very excited when they got in touch with us again, and they said, "Would we like to try out their Tolve um, pair of headphones?" So we were like, yes, definitely, because we love the other products that we were gifted from them. Well, we're always using Helner's headphones as well, as yeah. you'll notice in all of our reacting videos. <laughs> so we were really excited to have two pairs of headphones so that if we needed to each have our own pair or if I went out for the day, Martin still had a pair of headphones to use as well. Yeah. So thank you so much, Studio. We're actually going to unbox it now because we're going to use them for filming our reacting video, but we will just show you what they're like. So Martin's just opening up the box. I love receiving um, new products when they're all I like these. There were, there were different colours you could get. And so many different colours. Went colors. for the black with gold. Yeah. What I really love about Studio as well, all of their designs are so sleek 
but also they're really different because you can pick what color like my headphones my studio et headphones are like a pastel pink and um, so they have loads of different colors I mean, depending on what you like i'm so behind the times probably in terms of technology but uh, <laughs> i love the fact that this like they charge inside the actual case case we'll show you now so we've just turned the light on so that we can show you a little bit better but this is the case i love it it's so sleek it's a matte black but they do come in loads of different colors and then these are the headphones this design is actually their most popular design of headphones and you can see why because they're just so sleek looking i love them so on the back of the box it tells you some of the main features of the headphones um so it comes with four different sizes of ear tips um so you can find the right size to fit your own ears up to 35 hours playtime instant pairing mode that is what i love about studio headphones they use bluetooth so they can instantly connect to your phone to your laptop to anything really uh, four extra charges so they charge inside the case so you don't have to worry about bringing an extra charger if you're out and about because if, as long as you bring the case then you can charge your headphones on the go and yeah bluetooth 5.0 and a graphene driver so they're such good quality honestly i've tried so many of studio products and i would highly recommend them so currently at the moment studio are running a new campaign for a global price drop on these headphones so they have gone from 79 pounds to 69 pounds and then on top of that we also have a discount code for you all which is 15 percent off the discount code is so Helena2021, so I'll pop that on the screen, but it will also be in the description box as well. So if you use that on top of their price drop as well, then you will get a further, I think it's about £10 off. So it's a very, very good deal if you are looking for some new headphones and we would honestly really highly recommend these. So thank you so much Studio for sending these. Martin is very excited to try them out because I feel very like he, I feel like he's going to st steal these from me. <laughs> I think so. To be honest, I think that's why we went for that colour as well, just yeah. so that um, I could I could maybe have my own pair. You could steal them. <laughs> so actually, we're going to use Helder's headphones for the video because uh, we need to charge these before yes, use. A, just a charge before use. Yeah, but I'm going to use those later definitely. I like to wear. Uh, I like to have the headphones in when I'm cooking. Yeah. Oh, and another really good feature um, is that they have a microphone built in so that if oh, you yeah. take a call or anything, um, you can take it through the headphones um, yeah. because the microphone will pick up your voice. So I love that feature of my other headphones. Yeah. Right, got my cable, which is my accessories. Going to plug these in and then we'll grab your headphones and we'll start we'll the video. Building. Success! <laughs> We've recorded uh, the next one in the series. We actually, well, we're going to say this in the actual video, but we decided because we thought the next one was going to be Hollywood Studios, but then we thought it's going to be in the wrong order then, even though we're not doing every single vlog for a reaction, we still want it to sort of be in timeline order. So we worked out which ones we want to do. And so the next one you're going to see is actually going to be our reacting to uh, first time at Animal Kingdom. Yay, uh, with Helmut's family. Arc. So yeah, that'll be coming up uh, very soon. But during the video, our stomachs, <laughs> our stomachs were rumbling. I if you're here, though. Well, I'm telling you now, so you're <laughs> going to keep an ear out for it. Yeah, stomachs were rumbling, so we need to make some food. Not entirely sure what to have, actually. No, I don't know what we have. Oh, you look. I am a tired one. <laughs> right, let's go and see what we got. We forgot that we had these. <laughs> Being, naughty. Being naughty, we got some Greg's uh, frozen sausage rolls, uh, and we're gonna have we're gonna have those for lunch. Oh, that is very naughty. But I've been good with the old bike this week, and Helena's been working hard. Just wanted to keep you updated with uh, what was happening with Christmas Winnie, and he's made it up to the <laughs> the top of the bookcase. And he snuggled in nicely there with Oasis Winnie. We're actually running out of room. <laughs> Oasis Winnie looks like like a younger brother. <laughs> and then you got the main Winnie, who's like massive compared to these. He's the dad. <laughs> Just heard a knock at the door, and it's a parcel. And so I'm really hoping that these are the t-shirts. <laughs> I finally, finally oh, got finally them. Finally, they're in your hands. Finally, uh, the buzzer went, and I dashed over. Just in time. 
WrestleMania. Is that what it's called? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Speaking of WrestleMania, I was kindly invited onto the Back to the Geek podcast um, to give my predictions on the matches at WrestleMania. And obviously, now that you see this, WrestleMania would have already been on. But if you fancy like going back and wow, seeing that was whether, second bit. Uh, oh yeah, Is sorry, yeah. Tomorrow? The, the second bit, actually, uh, I forgot that we're recording this so soon. <laughs> the first bit will have already been on. First night will have already been on. But uh, you can check out my predictions and see whether I was uh, right or wrong. I'll pop the link to the Back to the Geek podcast here below. But thanks so much for inviting me. Ben invited me uh, and I had a blast because I used to do a podcast. And so it was nice to be in that sort of arena again uh, as a guest. They are the T-shirts. Oh, they're the right ones. It's the t-shirts. Uh, so what I might do is I might lay them out and then show you. So Martin's asked if I will film his wrestling t-shirt catwalk fashion show. So what's this first one? Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. Here we go. So here is number one. This is Brett Hart, one of my favourite uh, old school wrestlers. But I love it because it's like a comic book. There's a couple that I've got that are more like comic booky in design, and I really like the grey as well. So yeah, that's the first one. Brother hit my heart. <laughs> so this is uh, another legend. I've gone for a lot of classic wrestlers who, there's only one t-shirt I've got where the person's still going, uh, but this is a famous wrestler, a legend, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I love this one because it's a comic book again, but it's him delivering his signature move, the Stone Cold Stunner, and then Glugging his beer as he used to do at the end of a match. <laughs> so this one's like a classic faction with two legends on, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Uh, and this is a group called The Generation X. And then this is possibly uh, my favourite. And this is for the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Who actually, years ago, it was like maybe, I can't remember how many years ago it was. But like career ending injury. And then he's come back and he's in the main event of WrestleMania. And it says, grit, get grit. Which has been his phrase since he's come back. I really like the colour of this one. So now that Martin's t-shirts have arrived, <laughs> we're allowed to leave the house. We're, <laughs> we're just going to go for a little wander, a little walk. Um, got a couple of shops I need to pop into. And yeah, then we're going to come back and make some dinner probably. Yeah, I'm excited because I'm probably going to use the headphones while I... Oh yeah, while, while you, I cook could, food. you listen to your new podcast. Just listen to podcasts. So the kettle is just finishing boiling because we've got back from our walk and I'm making myself a cup of tea because I feel like that's what I have to do as soon as I step back through the door whether I've been to work or I've been shopping or I've just gone for a walk I always get in and make myself a cup of tea I don't know if anyone else does that as well <laughs> but Martin is being very good and he's jumping on the exercise bike but I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I think I might watch a little bit of YouTube. And whilst I was out, I noticed these. And as you all know, I am a huge, huge fan of Jaffa Cakes. So I was very intrigued by these passion fruit flavored ones. So I'm gonna do a little taste test with my cup of tea and I'll let you know what I think. So I'm just watching a new trailer on Netflix called Thunder Force and it's number one in the UK at the moment. And it's a new film with Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer. Looks really good. Yeah, looks really fun. How weird. I said the other day that I really wanted to watch Shrek and I wondered if it was on Netflix and it wasn't. And literally been added number five today. Oh, Shrek. I really want to watch Shrek the musical as well. That's on um that's on Netflix as well. Got some really good stuff on Netflix. And Stardust. I actually own Stardust, but it's still very exciting that it's been added to Netflix. Because I just, I don't know, I get excited when they've been added to Netflix, even if I own them. <laughs> I don't know why. But I am gonna do a taste test of the new passion fruit Jaffa cakes. Very intrigued. Ooh, they smell. They smell like passion fruit. I don't know if these are gonna be 
nicer than the normal ones. They're a serious taste test. They're nice, but they're not as good as normal Jaffa cakes. Can I have a quarter? A quarter? Do you want to finish that one? Oh, well, I didn't want to have too much of it. Let me just break off. They're really nice. Do you know what? They remind me of summer. They're very summery. Because obviously the passion fruit. Tastes like a, um, but they're it tastes like a J2O. It does taste like a J2O. They're very sweet, but, but it doesn't, really feel, nice. doesn't feel like a Jaffa cake though, because mm. you're, you're used to the flavour of a Jaffa mm. cake. I would recommend them, but they're not as good as a normal Jaffa cake. It's made me really want a J2O. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, really, they really do taste like a chocolatey J2O. <laughs> also, we wanted to let you know in this vlog that our PO box is all set up which is really exciting. We will pop the address in the description box and we'll just keep it there from now on. Um, but by no means does it mean that we expect people to send anything at all. That's not the reason we got it. Um, it was mostly just because we wanted to keep our posts safe. And also when brands contact us, it's nice to be able to give an address. And also it's just lovely to have an address um, to give to people if they do wanna send anything or if they want to send us a letter or anything like that. But we honestly don't expect it. But if you do want it for any reason, it will be in the description box. And yeah, we're really pleased with it so far. And it's just really nice because if we order something, we don't have to be in to collect it. And um, we can kind of just pick it up when it works for us. But yeah, we just wanted to let you know. I think Martin put it on his Instagram, but I think he put it as a story. So it's gone now. Um, so yeah, the address will be in our description box um, from now on. So yeah, you can find it there. Oh, I'm feeling refreshed. Uh, got back and then I jumped straight on the bike, did an hour on there, and then jumped in the shower. That's why my hair's probably got a bit quiffy now, a bit fluffy. And I had to decide which wrestling t-shirt I was gonna wear. I've gone for Brett the Hitman Hart, and then I've also got my studio headphones. Uh, I've been charging them all afternoon so they should be ready and I'm going to use these while I make the food so it's going to be a gusto no, it's not gusto this week we used hello fresh this week so let's check what we've got so today's choices are the sausage and meatball stew roasted butternut squash curry oh or herbie burgers oh blimey <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one to do. I think I do because I fixated on this one for a long time. I think we've had this before and it was really nice. Let's do it. Let's do it. Herbie Burgers. So I've got my settings open, Bluetooth settings. I've got the headphones here. Take them out. I'll just have one in because in case um, Helmer needs me for something. All right, so I've taken them out and I've pushed the button that's on the side. Let's pair new device. Ah, Studio 12, that's the one. Device connected. Okay, cool. Right, so I'm gonna get the ingredients for number 35. All right, first thing we need to do is cut some potatoes for our wedges. Got our little tomato salad, and then the burgers are in the oven, along with the chips, and then when it's nearly ready, I'm gonna put in the burger buns to toast them up slightly. But look at what Helen I bought from the shop. Skittles Chewies, no shell. And I must admit, I love Skittles, normal Skittles, but these are so good. What's people's opinions? I really like them. <laughs> They're just so soft. Well, of course they are, Chewies. But I am trying my hardest to not have them. So I'm gonna put them away. <laughs> Food's gonna be ready shortly. Although just remembered that we haven't watched Winter Soldier yet. Oh yeah, she watched Falcon it. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, watch it while we have dinner. Otherwise we're gonna see a spoiler at some point. Oh aren't we? yeah. <laughs> We've done well so far. Yeah. How are the Jaffa cakes going? I've eaten them all. But there was only ten. <laughs> They're like Pringles to you, aren't they? Yeah, there's only <laughs> ten. And also, you did say that you 
didn't want to be tempted. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to hide those squishies, those chewies from me. Yeah. Squishies are a different sweet, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so I just checked on the burgers. <laughs> Has anyone got any tips on how to stop them from breaking? Because <laughs> every single time I make burgers, they're, they they're cooked and they're tasty, but they are not burger shape. <laughs> they just don't need, they just fall apart. <laughs> oh, any tips? Yeah, please let me know. <laughs> so I've I've put the bun on the top, so you can't tell that it's not together in one piece. <laughs> Why did I tell you? <laughs> and then some wedges and uh, tomato salad. Uh, we had this one before, didn't we? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Herbie burgers, even though they weren't burger shape. <laughs> you, didn't know, you didn't realise. Ah, it didn't well. really crumble actually when I ate it. Well, I sort of like padded it down inside the <laughs> burger buns. <laughs> padded it down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was really nice. And then we watched uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That was a good episode. It was better than last week's. Yeah. We, uh, I think we just got a little confused about some of the plot points, but still really enjoyed it. And that episode was incredible. <laughs> I'm interested to see where it goes. I don't, I couldn't really call it right now. Yeah, like, I have no idea what's, what's going to happen, which is great. Because, yeah, you know, you watch good. some season series and you think, oh, I know what's going to happen here. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's keeping you guessing. Mm. But we are going to finish the vlog now because it is 10 to 10. And I need to edit this, <laughs> and then I need to get cosy. I need to get settled You're in buzzing. because midnight is when the sort of kickoff starts. Um, and I'll be going to bed because <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> um, I haven't really got anything in terms of snacks. I've got some. You've got lots of carrots. I got some carrot sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink loads, but I bought a couple of beers. Uh, yeah. Carrot sticks and beers, but more do on <laughs> Weird. It's a bit of a juxtaposition. Weird when you put it that way, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much of the carrot sticks I'll eat. Anyway. <laughs> Make sure you update everyone how many, no. how many you've eaten. No, the vlog's finishing now, so you won't, you won't have an update on the, on the carrot stick situation. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, join us on Tuesday. <laughs> Tomorrow's Sunday, that's right. Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Join us on Tuesday for our next video. Uh, we will see you then. Toodle Pipski! Thanks for watching everyone. Bye!